Now, before I begin this laptop's review, let's all try to answer one thing first. Why do these types of laptops even exist? So what you have is a 16 inch thin gaming laptop which has three fans on the inside and an OLED display. Well, that's because full-fledged gaming laptops like this ROG Strix G16 usually have a number of compromises too. For example, the speakers on this thing are just terrible. The display although has a high refresh rate, doesn't have much brightness and in few cases where a full-fledged gaming laptop does so, it is not very color accurate. Their size is big, they consume too much power and almost have nothing in terms of battery life. It is to complete all these requirements, something like an Asus Zephyrus G16 comes in. It is a 16-inch gaming slash creator laptop powered by the brand new AMD Ryzen AI9 HX370 CPU, an NVIDIA RTX 4060 GPU and 32 GB of LPDDR5X RAM. So, how good of a gaming slash productivity laptop this actually is? Well, let's find out. <laughs> Now, a good laptop isn't complete without a proper design and the Zephyrus G16 will totally impress you in that regard. The unique matrix LED lights, the minimalist keyboard design, upward firing speaker grills, a giant touchpad and an almost bezel display will make this thing a very well thought out machine. Now, one magic touch here is that LED matrix light which can be programmed to sync with music beats as well which looks really cool. Apart from that, this laptop is obviously very thin at just 1.7 cm and weighs around 1.9 kg, making this thing very portable. And just look at the difference when kept side by side with the ROG Strix G16. And even when compared to something in its old class, like the Dell Xperia 16, the Zephyrus G16 just wins over them all. Even in terms of build quality, this thing is pretty solid. The hinges movement is smooth, it is easy to lift with one hand, there is minimal to no wobble and this is impressive because making something thin and making it strong are two very different things. The laptop also has a well-balanced selection of ports, ideal for both gamers and creators. It includes HDMI 2.1 for high-resolution displays, multiple USB ports including USB 4 and USB 3.2 and an SD card reader as well, which is great for fast file transfers. Asus is also using a new power jack to recharge its battery for fast charging and if you want, then you can also use PD charging via one of the Type-C ports as well. Now the display is one of the main things that you need to concern yourself with. So what you're getting is a 16-inch OLED display which is again best suited for gamers and content creators. First of all, the screen has 100% DCI-P3 color space coverage and a Delta E value of less than 1 meaning it is able to show a wide variety of colors and it can show them very accurately. And most of your creative work is done in the DCI-P3 color space only. So considering that, this is great for content creators. The display also has 240Hz refresh rate, around 416 nits of brightness and NVIDIA G-Sync support, meaning smoother frames and tear-free frames, so good for gamers as well. And on top of all this, the display is an OLED, so very good contrast in the image, great viewing angles, deeper blacks and a very immersive viewing experience in general. So in the end, great for content consumption as well. In short, this is a great display and works really well for multiple use cases. Now let's talk performance. So Asus has built this thing using three fans. And one of the main advantages of that is getting good CPU temperatures even when your chassis is this thin. For instance, compared to the Dell XPS 16 I tested recently, which is way more thicker than this, the new Ryzen AI CPU on the Zephyrus G16 scored 85 degrees as maximum temperature, compared to the 100 degrees on the Dell. Now, don't get me wrong, 85 degrees is still not a very good number. I mean, it is decent, but we also have to see that the laptop is maintaining this temperature while being this thin, while being under load and not sounding like a jet taking off. If you have ever used an Acer Nitro 5 at max fan speed, then you know what I'm talking about. Whatever fan noise this thing produced is easily bearable. 
and combined with a really good set of speakers, the fan noise just simply becomes non-existent. Here, take a look yourself. In terms of Cinebench R23, the Ryzen AI9 absolutely beats Intel Core Ultra 9 and frankly many other full-fledged gaming laptops as well. We have seen this Ryzen AI chip in the ZenBook S16 recently. A thin and light laptop which was consuming around 33 watts. And now in this laptop, the same chip is consuming around 79 watt at its peak. Which means that the results are very scalable. There is a difference of 9000 points in total between a Zenbook and a Zephyrus even with the same exact chip. Listen carefully as I tell you that this is why the Ryzen AI 9 chip is so special. It can perform as you want, just change the power it's getting and boom, you have a totally different PC. AMD, I just have to say, really well done. Chalo, moving on, the GPU on this thing is an NVIDIA RTX 4060 with 8GB GDDR6 VRAM. And in terms of performance, it is not the best performance RTX 4060 model, but it is not the worst one either. For comparison, it lies somewhere close to the Dell G15's RTX 4060, which comes with an Intel Core i7 13650HX CPU. In real-world gaming performance as well, the Zephyrus G16 performs exactly as its benchmarks lead you to believe. In Gears 5, the Zephyrus post 135 FPS, once again outperforming XPS 16's 81.9 FPS, but behind the G15's 155 FPS. In 1200p high settings in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the Zephyrus G16 achieves 137 FPS, which is significantly higher than the XPS 16's 98 FPS, though it trails behind the G15's 157 FPS. For Borderlands 3, the G16 achieves 78 FPS, staying ahead of the XPS 16's 68 FPS, though slightly behind the G15, which tops out at 91 FPS. The Zephyrus G16 leads in SSD speeds with a read and write speed of 7079 and 4583 MB per second, outperforming the XPS 16s 5069 and 3619 MB per second respectively. In memory performance, the Zephyrus G16 also excels with a 107622 MB per second write speed, surpassing the XPS 16's 50696 MB per second. Additionally, the Zephyrus G16 also offers lower memory latency compared to the Dell XPS 16, indicating quicker response times. And not just in gaming, even in terms of overall digital content creation, the Zephyrus G16 beats out the much more expensive XPS 16 by scoring more in PC Mark 10 photo and video editing tests, establishing itself as a productivity powerhouse. So, in conclusion, not only has Asus succeeded in making a gaming laptop which you can create on, you also have to make little to no compromise while doing either of those tasks. The laptop's strong build quality, amazing I.O., fantastic screen and the brand new AMD chip does its magic to create one of the best gaming slash creator laptop of 2024. So that was it for the video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below and I will try to answer them one by one. My name is Jitnesh Dubey. Until then, I will see you guys next time.